What's up, everybody? What up? I'm in between jobs right now, moving to the next location. Um, I was asked by Tim and Joshua to do a video uh, introducing myself and uh, telling you guys uh, a little bit about me and uh, how I got started in this industry and uh, what it takes or what it means to be an outlaw window cleaner. Um, let me first off uh, say uh, I got started in window cleaning about uh, 2004. Um, 2004 2005 somewhere around in there um i went to school to be uh our carpenter and worked in uh the construction field since i was 12 or 13 years old my grandfather was a plumber and uh, i was a smart guy and decided i was going to be a carpenter and i uh, went to school to be a carpenter it went pretty good i did all right uh i just got uh tired of it uh, a lot of uh, a lot of bullshit goes into construction uh, especially building custom homes there's a lot of bullshit you got to deal with let me put my seat belt on that's what it means to be an outlaw window cleaners put your seat belt on yeah I just uh, kind of got a little stale but you know I stuck with it because I've got kids I've got uh, three children um, I'm 38 years old um, born in 1979 uh, in Sandusky, Ohio. Um, a lot of people might know Sandusky, Ohio from uh, uh, Cedar Point, which I do a lot of business for, by the way. I got a really close friend. His brother uh, owned a window cleaning business, and I had gotten laid off, and which happens a lot in construction. Uh, I got laid off, and they needed, uh, they needed a hand. In town, they built uh, what was, at one point, the world's largest water park. It's called Kalahari and uh, they needed help and they needed a guy that wasn't afraid of heights and you know my best friends like oh well Terry's not doing nothing um, let me ask him and that's how it all started just by chance um, I started working for him and uh, I didn't go right back to construction I took the summer off and cleaned windows all summer and it just kind of snowballed uh, my best friend and his brother ended up getting in an argument and uh, the, um, my friend quit and uh, John hired me full time and uh, I worked for him for six years. I ran the whole business. Uh, I worked with another guy, uh, the older guy that taught me a lot about window cleaning. He's an old high rise window cleaner uh, named Randy. Um, worked out of Cleveland a bunch. And uh, I ended up eventually taking the business over. I bought the business from him uh, five years ago. And uh, I've been going strong ever since. Um, I think that's what it means to be an outlaw is uh, just taking the bull by the horns and going out there and busting your ass day in and day out, rain or shine, the cold, whatever, you know, just doing what you gotta do to, uh, to survive, to make it, you know. Um, Window cleaning changed my life. It really did. I know that sounds cliche and crazy. I mean, you're just cleaning windows, but it changed my life. Owning this business and cleaning windows changed my life. Uh, I went from not being able to get it together to having it together, you know. Um, uh, this industry has a lot to offer if you put your nose to the grindstone. It's not for everybody. I can, just, I can assure you that. Um, I've seen a lot of people come and go, especially in my area. Um, but uh, I think this outlaw window cleaner thing is fucking awesome. Uh, Joshua and uh, Tim asked me to be a part of it. And uh, I, of course, was humbled as shit and was like, fuck yeah. And uh, I think you're going to see uh, an awful lot of cool shit coming from us uh, here soon. Uh, I think we're gonna really change the atmosphere, the landscape of uh, 
not only the social media side of window cleaning uh, got a bunch of uh, stuff in the works I think everyone's gonna really like um, but you know other avenues as well um, I just think uh, you got to uh, you got to be you got to do you you got to you got to do yourself you can't uh, you can't have some dude uh, telling you how to this is how you should do it and uh, this is why you should do it um, all that stuff you got to do things the way you want to do things because um, that in the end you're the only person that's you're gonna have to be happy with yourself you have to be happy with your finished product um, and you're gonna have to be happy with your company um, I'm a solo operation uh, I hire folks in the spring and the summer and, f and fall you know but mainly I do a lot of things myself uh, I just like it that way um, I think this year I'm gonna bring my daughter on she's been asking me for a couple years to come work for me and I, I think I'm gonna do that um, my son's a little too young for window cleaning just yet um, but I'm thinking about bringing her on and uh, I think she, she's shown me that uh, she wants to be a window cleaner so I'm not gonna deny her that I mean I'm sure it's not gonna be her lot in life but you know you never know shit she might take it over and be the one you know <laughs> I work mainly in uh, I'd say I, I guess you could say north northwestern Ohio kind of you know I do uh, a lot of uh, commercial work I do a lot of residential work this is the vacation land you know this is where everybody comes to vacation all the snowbirds and all that stuff they come here to vacation I, I don't know I wouldn't say that I've got myself in a niche but I, a niche but I, I kind of do um, I do uh, I go out in uh, on the islands and you know South Bass Island and um, Putin Bay for those who don't know um, out in Lake Erie I bid things and I do things for what I feel like I'm worth now I don't worry about what the other dudes doing or uh, trying to stay uh, competitive price point point. I do things for what I feel I'm worth and what my time is worth um, I have a family uh, I have to feed, of course, but I'm not going to sacrifice uh, my body and my time and my spirit for uh, chump change, you know? I think that's uh, one of the biggest things about uh, being a window cleaner and a, and a good business owner is uh, knowing your worth. You got to know what you're worth. If you're going to be there an hour and it's not going to take very long, then, you know, you know that don't matter. That don't matter you gotta get your money get your money get what you're worth uh, don't let no, no customer or uh, 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 another window cleaner or whoever whatever it is decide your fate the only people that get a break from me are senior citizens and veterans that's it that's those are the only people that get a break from me um, I feel like I owe uh, both a lot veterans and uh, the senior citizens I wouldn't be where I'm at today if it wasn't for my grandparents uh, they're both gone now um, they pretty much uh, they fronted me the money to start this uh, to buy this business and take it over um, get all my hand tools and all that stuff and bought me my first ladder rack which is still back on the back of this brand new pickup truck I got now that's all that's you that's the only way you get a break from me <laughs> uh, but uh, I just want to tell you guys uh, that uh, I think our I think the outlaw window cleaning group is awesome. I think everybody in there is pretty dope. We need to get more members in there, like-minded, hopefully, and uh, expect big things. I mean, more stuff is on the way. You're gonna see more from me, T Squeegee. I did a rap song about window cleaning. One of these days, I'll get the balls to post it, and so everybody can hear. It. It's pretty funny. But I had a, a buddy help me one summer, and uh, he's a uh, musician and that was what he called me is T squeegee and it just stuck I got a license plate and, you know everybody sees me up to like T squeegee which is ridiculous but you know I roll with it but I, I you're gonna see you're gonna be seeing more of me on you for the outlaw, outlaw window cleaner brand I'm gonna be like uh, I guess I'm just gonna be the mascot the uh, the the mouthpiece the uh, the uh, the hood ornament whatever you want to call it I'm gonna I'm gonna be the barker I'm gonna get out there and uh, show you guys what it's about uh, to be an outlaw window cleaner 
tell you guys, show you guys uh, some new products here and there, and uh, uh, just uh, just general badassery, you know, on a daily basis. There's some really good uh, people out in the industry that you can learn shit from. Uh, Tim, BM1, Joshua, Shof, BM1, uh, Tim Huber, by the way. Um, Todd Four, like wealth and knowledge. If you don't know Todd Four or uh, have any dealings with Todd, T Todd's a bad motherfucker, man. Like if you want to learn something, you learn something from that dude. Cause that dude's been around. Uh, Mark Tanner's another one. Mark Tanner's an awesome fucking guy. Been doing this a long time. There's just a bunch of guys out there that you can learn from. Don't listen to these fucking dickheads and uh, that are shills um, on YouTube pumping out fucking products. They're they're paid bitches, man. They're they're paid. They're paid off to tell you something's cool when it really ain't fucking cool, you know. If you want to seek source, look for a guy that's been cleaning windows longer than three years. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying uh, uh, time is everything, but time is every fucking thing. Especially in this business. Because you've been there, you've seen it, you've done it. You know? It's because somebody grabs a hold of you and be like, Hey, can you pump our product online and on YouTube? And you can tell everybody that you know what you're doing and, you know, they'll follow suit. Nah. Nah. You need to listen to veterans, guys that have been there. It's just like everything else in life. If you've been there doing it, you know what you, you know. You got to put the time in. Anything like being a master, like uh, you got to do it at least ten thousand times. You know, you got to uh, you got to got to do something a lot to get it down. You know, and I think being a window cleaner or a pressure washer or a gutter cleaner, or whatever you are, you got to put the time in. You got to put the time in, and uh, putting the time in, um, I you got to. It's, your, it's all about your chops, you know, getting your chops up. This industry, uh, right now, uh, it's weird. Uh, people are, uh, a lot of entry-level guys, and there's nothing wrong with uh, new guys. New guys are cool. Um, but uh, I feel oftentimes new guys are misguided, and, uh, and that's unfortunate. It's almost like uh, people give you just enough to fail, you know. You have any questions about anything? I don't know everything, but if I know that I know, I will tell you. But if I know that I don't know, I will also tell you that I know that I do not know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, I'm almost to my next job here, but uh, if I'm forgetting anything, uh, I'm sure some someone will tell me. But uh, it's been a pleasure chatting with y'all. And uh, you guys have a good day. Peace.